I wore thick glasses, hand-me-down clothes, and had a stutter. So, when my mom took me to the dentist to get me braces, I did everything I could to stop her. But that was the very same day I went home with wires in my teeth. And I dreaded going to school. I never wanted the weekend to end. That Monday, I was the laughingstock of my school. There was a boy who I was scared to run into. His name was Fred Lohman. And he was the most popular kid in school. He was the captain of the basketball team. And if rumors were to be believed... He was set to become an NBA superstar. I was trying to hide when he bumped into me. My lunch spilled everywhere, and Fred Lohman picked up the scrambled eggs from the floor and dumped it all on my head. Everyone laughed. I I wanted the earth to open up and swallow me whole, especially when I saw the girl standing right behind Fred. Scarlet. She was the girl of every boy's dream. She was beautiful, smart, and popular beyond belief. I've had a crush on her since the third grade. Yo, nerd! What are you looking at? Stop staring at my girlfriend! You're creeping her out! I snapped out of my daydream and saw Scarlet grimacing behind him. My hopes were crushed. One day, I hoped to become big and strong like Fred. I I wanted to get rid of my braces. And I wanted to get the courage up to ask Scarlet to prom. But if she was with Fred, I had no hope. And now, now that she saw me all covered in eggs and bacon, I doubt she'll ever want anything to do with me. I, I, I... uh, I'm sorry, uh... Shut up! Did I give you permission to speak? Now, go away. You smell like eggs. Ugh, and it's gross. Everyone laughed again. I swear, Fred Lohman could just recite the alphabet and everyone around him would laugh and praise him for how amazing he was. My name was Roy, but from that day on... Everyone called me Egg Smell. It was a stupid nickname, but it stuck anyway. By by senior year, nobody even remembered what my real name was. Everyone knew me as Egg Smell. I counted the days until high school was over, and it didn't look good for me. I had 1,000... 142 days until my waking nightmare was over. I kept myself busy, though. I focused on my studies, and I started to draw. I had always loved anime, and so I poured myself into that art form. I drew every day until I got good at it. But I had to hide it, because one time Fred saw me doodling and he took it from me. Look, guys! The dweeb's drawing an anime chick! (laughs) Who is this? Your waifu? Don't be mean, Fred. You know 2D girls are the only ones he'll ever get. Cause they're not real! (laughs) People found out I was obsessed with anime. And they'd laugh at me for it. They'd call me a weeb and... And they would shout Japanese phrases at me when I'd walk down the halls. They did it so much that I didn't even hear them anymore. Whenever they'd make fun of me, I'd just look at the ground and keep walking. Every day I looked down on the ground and minded my own business. Until time passed and I was a couple of months away from graduating. That week, Fred and Scarlet got into a huge fight. Rumor was that Scarlet caught Fred cheating on her with her sister, and they broke up for good. Things were looking up. I had also just gotten my braces removed, so I was on a high. I had confidence. I don't know what possessed me that day, but I just walked up to Scarlet while she was hanging out with her friends, and just... 
blurted it out. Scarlet, will you go to prom with me? I was so nervous that I shouted it at her. All five girls looked at me as if I was some sort of talking donkey. And then they laughed. They were slapping their knees, and some of them even had tears in their eyes. But but Scarlet was not amused. She was so mad. I could see steam coming out her ears. I, I asked so loudly that everyone around us heard. And, and, and now there was a crowd around us. And Scarlet was embarrassed. She walked up to me and pushed me. And then she pushed me again until I tipped and fell over. What did you say, you stupid weeb? What did you just say to me? <laughs> are you kidding me? You are asking me to prom. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? You have more pimples than the Milky Way has stars. You're weird, ugly, and you're a loser weeb. No one will ever want to date you. How dare you even try to ask me out? I am so way out of your league. She looked at me like I'd just spit in her face. In that moment, I realized how much she despised me. And it broke my heart. She turned around and huffed and puffed away. Everyone talked about that scene for days. And that weekend... Fred cornered me and pushed me up against a wall. He was so tall and strong, my feet were dangling in the air. What, what, what did I do? Let me go, please! Several teachers passed me by, but they didn't even help me. I screamed and yelled, but it only made the crowd of students who were watching laugh. Ha! <laughs> Egg smell screams like a girl! Hands off my girl! Didn't I tell you Scarlet is mine? You ever come near her again, I'll make sure you regret it! I... I, I thought you guys broke up! You insolent little... We were just taking a break! You stay away from here! You hear me? I, I was so scared. I was shaking. And when Fred put me down... My knees gave way and I fell in a clump on the floor. Everyone laughed at how much I was trembling. I didn't want to go to prom. But my mom made me. She dropped me off and made my cousin go with me. As if being egg smell wasn't enough, now I was also the kid who went to prom with his 25-year-old cousin. Everyone gave us funny looks. And I just knew they were never going to let me live that embarrassing night down. But then, something happened. When they announced the prom king, everyone suddenly turned to look at me. I saw the host beckoning me to the stage. And then I heard my name. How could it be possible? Who would have voted for me? My cousin pushed me until I was on the stage. People were cheering, and I saw Scarlet standing there with her crown. I started to smile. Things were looking up, and Fred was in a corner, looking as surprised as anyone. I was prom king, and my crush was the queen. I was about to dance with the one girl I had always wanted. I thanked everyone for voting for me, and then I offered my hand to Scarlet. Suddenly... Everyone b began to laugh, and Scarlet swatted my hand away. She moved to the edge of the stage, and then I felt it. It was warm and gooey and g gross. An entire bucket of scrambled eggs was dumped on me from above the stage. Every inch of my expensive tux was covered in smelly, clumpy eggs. I wiped it off my eyes and saw Fred and Scarlet laughing their hearts out. The crowd chanted the name they gave me. Egg smell! Egg smell! Egg smell! Over and over. Fred came close to me, took my crown... Wiped it clean and wore it. I told you you'll regret it. So humiliated. I... 
I couldn't face anyone anymore. I locked myself in my room for weeks. I didn't even bother to go to our graduation. From that day on, I did nothing but draw. I went to the gym, fixed my hair, fixed my skin. I rode and drew some more, and all the pain and the hurt and the embarrassment I ever felt made its way on the paper. I wrote about my story. I made it into a graphic novel. All through college, I wrote and rewrote it until it was perfect. I learned how to do animation, and when I was good enough, I began making my movie. It took years, four to be exact. I finished my degree the same day I finally finished my animation. And that day, I showed it to my college friends. They all cried by the end of it. From the back of the room, someone was clapping. It was our professor. She had come to our dorm to tell me that I was chosen to give the graduation speech as I was at the top of our class. She was so impressed by what she saw that she set up a meeting with her friend's daughter. I thought it was just some sort of job interview. But when I met her, I was stunned by her beauty. Serena was an executive for Netflix, and when I showed her my story, she was speechless. She offered to make my animation into a show, and she wrote me a check for the kind of money I never thought I'd ever see in my life. I bought my mom a new car and a new house. I bought Dad a boat. News about my success became widespread in my hometown. I was on TV and in the papers. I became a hometown hero. People from my high school came to visit. They pretended as if they didn't torment me. Made it sound like we were friends. They begged to be a part of the show. Some of them were even shameless enough to borrow money. I turned them all away. Until our high school reunion where I saw Fred and Scarlet again. They were eyeing my parked Bugatti. Hey, buddy! We heard you were doing a show. Can we be in it? See, uh, money's been tight, and we went to Hollywood to be actors, but <sighs> it didn't work out. I told Fred I didn't want a baby. Now this child has ruined my career. You know what? I'll leave him. I'll leave Fred and marry you. Just let me live in your nice big house. I'm so tired of living in a rat-infested basement. I can act in your show. I can play myself. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, Scarlet. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? You're too old to play a high schooler. Sorry, but I gotta cast someone prettier. Who would ever believe I had a crush on you? Ugh. Besides, wh why would I want you when I date supermodels now? Three models appeared behind me, followed by Serena, and they begged me to leave the party. Fred and Scarlet's jaws dropped to the floor as I got into my Bugatti. You two should stay together. You deserve each other. And then I slammed the door on their faces.